In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Shape Pop from Stupid Raisins. Shape Pop is a great set of customizable transitions that animate your footage into different shapes to reveal the incoming clip. Shape Pop was designed exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the Transitions browser under Stupid Raisins Shape Pop. You'll notice there are 30 transitions included in this great set of effects. Let's take a look at a few of them. Shape Pop will easily add an extra punch to your projects and can be totally customized for some great effects. For our example, I'm going to use a couple of different transitions in my sequence. I'll drag the first one, Circles Cover, between the first two clips on my timeline. Click the Help button in the on-screen controls at any time to get help with this effect or any others in the set. In the parameters, the first option we have is to change the direction of the transition animation. Next, we can customize the color and outline of the circles. Using the slider, I can also adjust the circle size. Clicking the Change Pattern checkbox gives us a new randomized pattern to play with. Clicking Generate will generate a new pattern for you each time. Finally, the In and Out Spread sliders control the amount of falloff of the animations. Now, let's take a look at Diamonds Up and Down. The style drop-down lets you choose which clip to animate and the direction drop-down gives you the choice to either move up or down. The random angle checkbox sets a random rotation angle for each diamond. With the end angle slider, you can set the angle at the end of the animation pattern. Use the spread slider to control the amount of falloff and soften the shape's edge with the feather slider. Shape Pop from Stupid Raisins is a great addition to your editing toolbox. For a quick and easy animated transition, use them as is, or make them all your own for a completely custom effect. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.